Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I am doing a historical romance book haul slash I bought two mystery boxes on eBay and I'm unboxing them. So I want to say like over a month ago I tweeted that I caved and I bought two mystery boxes on eBay full of historical romances and that I would do an unboxing video. I originally saw Jess from Peace Love Books do this video but I'm pretty sure Books with Samantha started this with historical romances so I will link both of their videos down below. I feel like historical romances recently have gotten a lot of love. Everybody is trying to collect old editions and all of the beautiful covers and stead backs. I'm literally going to mispronounce step back every single time in this video. I don't know what my problem is, but apparently I can't say step back. I say stead back, which makes no sense. So just bear with me, ignore that, whatever. I'm definitely getting into it as well. Because I don't own a lot of historical romances, I thought this would be a good idea to add to my collection and to start reading more. And I also thought it would be a fun video. So I guess let's get started. I did buy two different lots from two different sellers and they both have 20 books each. These both came from the US. I live in Canada so I did have to pay extra shipping and an exchange. So for 40 books I basically paid like $130 which in my opinion is not that bad but also it is kind of worrisome because I don't know what books are in here. I don't know if I'm going to be interested in any of them, but I guess that's kind of the point. It's a mystery box. Also, none of these were curated. I know for Jessica's, she did ask for specific things, but these ones were both completely random. I didn't ask for anything. I don't think they had things that you could ask to curate the box. I think it was just totally random. So that is what I got. I guess let's start with the first box. This is the first box. And this was, it was just called a random mix by assorted authors. So really random, we'll see. Okay, so far a lot of them look kind of yellow. So, oh my God, I can't believe there's 20 books in here. Oh my goodness. Okay, and then, Kind of wrapped nice, which is great. Okay, I went to go grab a chair so I could put the box on the chair and I'll just grab from here. Obviously, I don't know what's in this box, so I probably don't know a lot of what these titles are, so I won't give you guys summaries or anything like that. Also, I do have 40 books to go through, so I'm gonna try to make this kind of quick. Okay. Ooh, the first book that I got is Somewhere my love I think by Karen Fox cover is gorgeous I'm gonna have to try to take the sticker off that's exciting okay next one is more than just a night by Connie Reinhold a lot of these are really really old I'm very excited okay this next one is Ooh, Make Me Love You by Joanna Lindsay. I definitely want to read some Joanna Lindsay, so very happy that there was one in here. Very excited. Ooh, okay, we have Georgiana by Mariana Devon, I think. I've seen these covers before, or these editions, I don't know. It's a very old, very yellow. <laughs> Oh, we have a Harlequin one. This is Playing the Raker's Game by Brownie Scott. I don't know. Never heard of this one. Okay, Wyoming Wildflower by Pam Crooks. So far, not many that I recognize at all. Okay. Oh, it's a fake step back. I wanted a real one. This is... Calico by Rain Cantrell. Sometimes it's really hard to read the writing on these. 
Hmm. The Weight of the Heart by Cheryl Holt. I don't know what this one is. One's Woman Fight to Reclaim Her Family Empire and The Man She Loves. Ooh, this one has a nice step back. This is For My Lady's Heart by Laura Kinsale. And then this is what the stud back looks like. Very pretty. The Mackenzie's Josh by Anna Lee. Lay. I love the cover. It's very gorgeous. Then we have Strokes of Genius by Emily Bryan. Very interesting cover. <laughs> we have Dark Prince by Eve Silver. Oh, this is not a historical romance. This is... I think this is a paranormal romance. Okay. We'll see. We have Wicked Pleasures by Helen Dixon. This is another Harlequin historical romance. Enticing the Prince by Patricia Grasso. Grasso? All of these, like, I've never heard of nor seen before, so I don't know. The Gunfighter and the Heiress by Carol Finch. This is another Harlequin title. Um, okay, this Our Town Whistle Stop by Lisa Higdon. It sounds kind of good in the back. He was an outlaw looking for a way out of trouble and into Catherine's heart. Too bad it doesn't have like a cute cover because that kind of sounds interesting. We'll see. Brave New Earl by Jane Ashford. I feel like I've seen this one before, but I'm not sure. Then we have The Christmas Countess by Adrian Baso. This one's kind of interesting. It says, "'Tis the season to say I do." Ooh. The Duke's Indiscretion by Adele Ashworth. Ooh, the back is so pretty. And then we have one last one in this box. And that is Dark Moon by Corey McFadden. This cover is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. This is so pretty. Wow. So that was it for the first box. I feel like it definitely was very random, very assorted. Nothing super popular. There was one Joanna Lindsay, but the rest I haven't really heard of before, so I'm not sure, but um, we'll see. I will probably try to give them a shot at one point. I definitely was a little disappointed with that box. I did think I was going to get a little bit more popular ones, but again, it was just kind of a random mix by a bunch of authors. Okay, so let's try the second box. This is the second one. This again has 20 books in it, and it was historical romance paperback books, popular authors mix. So this one should have a bit more popular authors. So right when I open it, you can see some books already, which is exciting. The first one is Mistress of Willowvale by Patricia Varian. Kind of looks interesting. I don't know. A Most Dangerous Profession by Karen Hawkins. Ooh, this does have a real step back. We have... Slightly Sinful by Mary Below. Hmm. These shiny ones are always so intriguing because they're so shiny. <laughs> we have No Other Love by Shannon Drake, which sadly has a fake set back. First comes Marriage by Mary Below again. I feel like I'm saying her last name wrong, and I'm so sorry. Oh, okay, so I feel like I'm getting part of a series. Because this is slightly 
Tempted. And then I also do see Slightly Dangerous by the same author. And then there was also Slightly Sinful. Um, so I guess this is probably part of a series. So, oh, Meet the Bedouins, Six Brothers and Sisters. Men and Women of Passion and Privilege. Hmm. We'll see. I keep getting this author. Literally, this whole box is of Mary below. Uh, at first comes Love, which I'm assuming is part of the same series as first comes Marriage. Oh my god, literally this whole box is this author. <laughs> I have two of this series, Simply Love and Simply Magic. Oh my god, literally this whole box is just full of this author. Oh, that's kind of disappointing. I wanted a mix. So we have Slightly Wicked, Slightly Scandalous, and A Summer to Remember by the same author. What else do we have by this author? Then we have The Secret Pearl and The Devil's Web, which I'm assuming these might also be part of the same series. We'll see. And then there's also Web of Love. Then we have A Restless Night by Deborah McGillive. McGillivray? McGillivray? Um, I'm assuming this is a like Highlander romance. We'll see. The Perfect Poison by Amanda Quick, who is an author I have heard of. Three more books. This next one is Nights of Fire by Patricia Pelican. This cover is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. And the back, so pretty. Then I got Kept by a Countess by Pat Cody. There's a cute little dog on the cover and on the back too. How cute. And then the last one is Rules of Surrender by Christina Dodd, which I feel like I've heard of this author. I think. So that was it for all 40 books that I got from eBay for mystery boxes. The second book box I wish was a little bit more mixed. I don't know why they gave me like a bunch of those books by that one author. I'm assuming because they're all part of a series and they want me to have the whole series. I just feel like that's kind of weird. Like it's nice if I wanted to collect the whole series but the first you could have just sent me the first book. <laughs> Yeah, not gonna lie, I'm a little disappointed. I thought there would be more Joanna Lindsay. I thought there would be more popular authors. Like, for me, a lot of these I haven't heard of, so I don't really know if that means I'm not well educated in historical romance. Probably. For $130, I'm a little disappointed, but that's kind of my own fault. I knew there would be a risk in buying mystery boxes from eBay, especially if they're not like curated or if you don't request specific things. Let me know if you guys have been collecting some historical romances, if you've been buying some books from eBay, let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have read any of these books or if you've read any of these authors. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, follow me on all my other social media, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!